one of the most rewarding perks uh, of my job certainly is working with some of the best writers in the country. And no doubt, John Meacham is at the top of that list. These razor-thin elections, or even minority elections, are really the rule, not the exception. It's worth remembering that division is inherent in the American system. The, the whole point of the system, in fact, was to find a way to argue peaceably. One man's extremism, of course, and checking that extremism, is another man's necessary reform. We've had this resurgence of this opinion media, I think largely for economic reasons. We now have, it's so hard, and the, the world's moving so fast in terms of the digital culture, that we just don't know what the business models are gonna be that are gonna support news gathering and what we think of as public affairs programming. What that creates, which is troubling, I think, is that we now have, we've now returned to an opinion media that has an economic stake in the perpetuation of conflict rather than the resolution of problems. And that's something that is new again. Ronald Reagan didn't have to deal with this. Even George H.W. Bush didn't have to deal with this. Even in the early years, Bill Clinton, a lot of the right, a lot of the conservative media organizations actually grew out of their opposition to Clinton. The audience for the opinion stuff is pretty small, actually. It's disproportionately loud. I suspect a lot of you, a lot of y'all are like me. You're part of the audience of this, even if you, even if it makes your blood boil, and perhaps because it makes your blood boil. But if we arm ourselves and become discriminating consumers of what's being said, and who's saying it, and why they're saying it, then I think we're in better. We're going to be in much better shape. As Churchill once said, "The future's unknowable, but the past should give us hope." and I believe that very strongly.